So can you uh, see this problem? See ultimately, you know, we are trying to design an artificial leg and there is a rotational spring. So that is an additional part coming into play. So what does this rotational spring will do? It will take the torque that is m that is k times beta. So if the spring constant is k now, so that is a rotational spring constant. Okay multiplied by theta, theta is in this case is beta as shown here. So therefore, what is the energy of the rotational spring? Spring energy half k beta square, right? Same as the linear spring, linear spring it is half k x square, but here it is half k beta square. Okay, so you can think like this as if the stretching is equals to k k multiplied by beta okay so that's the torque torque multiplied by theta and then you have to add an half because it is going from one you know position to the other okay so half k beta square that will be the work done so strain energy will be half k beta square so just keep that in mind and then the problem is very simple I am getting uh, the answers actually coming up. Yes, so answer would be MGL divided by 2, that is the K. K should be greater than MGL divided by 2, and many of the remote sensors are posting the solution now. Okay, so we have displaced the solution now, so look at the uh, solution carefully. So, firstly, we calculate the potential energy of the mass that is calculated as you all see here, right? And then we have the potential energy of the rotational spring. As I said, it will be half k beta, beta square. So that's an additional information we get. So this is the you know, rotational spring. So only thing is half k x square, x is replaced by theta here. So theta is beta. So now you see the total potential energy of the system and then we can do the dv d, uh, d beta equals to 0, right? So in term, indeed beta equals to 0 is indeed an equilibrium configuration, okay? Now question is when it is going to be stable, so for that we are going to get d2 v d beta 2, right? So that should be greater than uh, 0. if. Uh, Okay, so at beta equals to 0, we substitute beta equals to 0, that should be greater than 0. So, we can say k should be greater than mgl over 2. Okay. So, now next, uh, let us move on to the next problem. So, say uniform rectangular plate of negligible mass. So, we are again not considering the weight of this body itself and it is attached by four springs. Okay. Now remember why we are studying this problem. So you have P and negative P. We want to find out for a small rotation whether it will maintain a stable equilibrium configuration or not. So that small rotation is given in terms of theta with respect to the center we are going giving it a small rotation. Now remember why this problem is important when it rotates about the center that P and negative P will create a couple. So, it is going to create a disturbing torque about the center. Can you see that? It is going to create a disturbing torque and the springs will try to restore the body in its original configuration. So, spring force is going to produce the restoring torque about the center. Now, as long as this disturbing torque is less than the restoring torque, then the body will be stable, otherwise unstable. Okay? So ultimately, we want to find out through the potential energy, but remember, this problem can also be solved if you just think this way that you have a disturbing torque and you have restoring torque coming from the spring forces. 
and as long as disturbing torque is less than the restoring torque we can solve this problem as well. So, that will be based on the force and moment concept that we have developed all right. So, we just want to analyze at this point through the potential energy concept. So, think of potential energy concept and just give me the answer. So, P should be in terms of K and A. So, what is the condition prevails between P and K and the geometry ok. Yes, now lot of remote center is giving the answer. Main thing here is that we should brainstorm how to get the potential energy function. So, give it a small rotation theta and try to see how do I establish the potential energy function that is all. Rest is simple math. So, P should be less than K as long as P is less than K we have the stable equilibrium. I will display the solution again. And since we have already done the virtual work, remember how to get the small displacement when you are rotating the body at individual points at different points, how to get the you know displacement that is already clear to us ok. So, in this problem as you rotate the body, what are the small small displacement that is going to come here? This spring will have a 2 a 2 by theta. So, all of this displacement in the vertical direction the spring is going to be stretched by a by 2 theta. In some cases it will be stretching in some cases it will be compressive. So, we have to be careful on that ok. The next thing is that so, here you can see basically half k a by 2 theta square. So, all the spring the displaced by a by 2 theta just keep that in mind. So, that is one thing and the second thing is that what is the potential energy of the force. So, this force right in both case you have two forces one is this way on it. So, you can calculate the work done and from the work done you can simply put a negative sign also. So, ultimately in potential energy if you look at it P A over 2 cosine theta. So, A 8 by 2 cosine theta is the distance of the force from the mass center ok. So, A over 2 cosine theta will be distance of the force from the mass center that multiplied by P would be the potential energy of this force and that is multiplied by 2 because there are two forces that is acting ok. So, that is the total potential energy and then the rest is very simple ok. So, the last problem that again a challenging problem we are going to consider now. So, the idea is to design the you know an adjustable lamp which has a parallelogram linkage. So, this member is parallel to the this one. So, it always it will always remain parallelogram ok and you can adjust its height, but remember there is a spring. So, ultimately everything is controlled by the spring. What is given that the unstretched length of the spring is B over 2 ok and then you see determine the necessary spring stiffness k for equilibrium at a given angle theta with the vertical. So, first thing is to find out the potential energy of this system. Remember there is a mass of this that mass is in terms of m and this mass is composed of mass of lamp as well as mass of fixture. Now, we are not concerned about where that mass is located. You really do not have to find it and that is the whole issue of this problem. You can take the mass somewhere and as I was describing earlier that ultimately remember you will just have a vertical height and you can see clearly what will happen that as you rotate the body there is a fixed distance let us say from this point where the lamp is connected to this pin there is a fixed vertical height let us say ok. So, for the mass center what will happen there will be always a fixed vertical height that will be L co, uh, cosine theta. So, L cosine theta plus some h. So, L cosine theta plus h is always going to be the height that we should consider when we are considering the potential energy of the force 
that force is mg. So, potential energy of the weight will always be L cosine theta plus h, some h. Okay. Is that clear? So, that is the main concept here. Now, you can uh, do this very easily. So, only trick here involves is that I do have a mass center somewhere. I do not know where it is exactly, but since the problem demands that I connect that mass center in terms of theta. So, what I will do? I will always take L cosine theta plus some height h okay? and that h will never change, that h is constant no matter where the entire assembly goes. Okay? So, if you buy that then we should be able to solve it. So, I will uh, just uh, ask you to do this you know little bit brainstorming at uh, maybe take it as an exercise problem and homework problem. So, I will show you the solution it is everything is there. Okay? So, please look at the solution to this problem and kind of rethink it when we go back. So, solution is displayed now just think very very carefully. So, as I was saying that you can consider the mass center somewhere, but the distance is always going to be fixed about this pin here. So, that is h. So, therefore, you have m g l cosine theta plus h. Remember the spring length at the configuration shown at theta is given by 2 b sin theta 2 from the geometry. So, the stretching is 2 b sin theta 2 negative b by 2. Okay? That is the stretching x. So, 2 b sin theta 2 is now the distance that is the final length negative original length was b over 2. Okay? So, therefore, we have the stretching. Now, the potential energy is completely set up. So, we have spring force, spring energy plus the gravitational energy. So, those are two things coming into play. Now, we have to do d v d theta equals to 0 for equilibrium. Now, what it will immediately give? It will give you a solution for k and solution for theta is also obtained. See what is happening? sin theta, if you do it as 2 sin theta 2 cosin theta 2, we can clearly see that I have one solution here, another solution will come from this. right? So, there are two solutions coming into play. So, from this if I set it equals to 0, I get a value of k. Now, what is important to understand? This k will go to infinite at some value of theta what is that theta? That theta is actually equals to what is given in the problem that sin inverse 1 over 4. right? So, that was given in the problem. Okay? You can see that k will go to infinity. So, what does that mean? That means that you need a very stiff spring. right? To maintain this configuration at theta equals to that angle, that angle will come up at 29 degree, that theta equals to you know uh, sin inverse 1 by 4 multiplied by half. So, almost close to 30 degree, I need a very steep spring. Remember, theta cannot be less than uh, you know 30 degree, if it is so, then k should be negative. So, we do not have any solution. So, first I have that theta equals to 29 degree, but for that I need a very stiff k. Now, you can think of the ultimately for any mass, okay, I need that stiffness k tends to infinity for theta equals to 30 degree. So, it is completely controlled by the geometry of the problem. Then you see for more theta, now you have to understand that for more theta what is happening and then we go to the d 2 v d theta 2 substitute the you know uh, theta expression down there okay and then we can say that whole range will give me the value of k so k will be 4 mgl 3 divided by 3 b square so k equals to infinite for theta equals to 30 degree and k equals to this which is now a function of mass 
at theta equals to 180 degree. So, in this range it is going to give you a stable equilibrium configuration.